they've always shown a great deal of respect for me as an actor, and, and I, I've, I've been very thankful for the things that they've done. Absolutely. Yep, yes. That's right. Absolutely. Yes. That's right. Next question. Yes. He did it all and infinitely more. And uh, Tiny Tim? And Tiny Tim, who did not die. Oh, isn't that swell? We're right here on the set, folks. This is the real thing. The scary thing is oh. that Scrooge is a character and Miss Piggy's real. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I beg your pardon? How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly... Unemployed! He he this is my island in the sun. It's very much like my own relationship with the Muppets. It's a guy who deals with uh, lots of weirdness and crazy things going on, you know. And I get to, get to sing a couple of songs in it. I've never sung before in my life. And, and as Scrooge, nobody expects you to be able to sing anyway, so I never let anybody down. <laughs> I think people are going to be surprised when they hear Michael Caine sing. I know Michael was. With a thankful heart, with an endless joy, with a growing family, every girl and boy will be nephew and niece to me. Nephew and niece to me. I'm a sort of rock in the middle that all the, all the Muppets bounce off, and if they, can, they are funny in, intrinsically. And, uh, and if I was to try and be funny, it wouldn't be funny. So the more realistic I am, the funnier it is. Oh yes, absolutely. Michael Caine, since he's standing right over there, is doing a wonderful job in this thing. I love you, Michael. And uh, Rizzo and Gonzo are very silly. You know, they're the narrators of the film, and uh, they do lots of foolish things. What? I play the part of Charles Dickens. I'm glad you asked that, because this is the first serious role that I've ever had. And uh, usually, you know, I have to go home from work uh, kind of, oh, grubby after jumping into a vat of oatmeal or something like that. But this time I have a dignified job and uh, please go out and buy tickets. It smells so good, mother. It does, doesn't it? Michael Caine is a star, fine. Michael Caine is terrific, yes, but what about moi? I figured any man who's got 12 rats and a green frog as a clerk is psychotic, so I play him as a psychotic. It's the only way to do it with the Muppets. But there's a character in this called Bean Bunny, who is the cutest little character you've ever seen. I mean, he's so cute, he's sickening. I'll give you a shilling. No, I'll give you five shillings. Wow! This is the first time that the uh, Christmas Carol story has been done justice. I've got my word processor just over there, and uh, as soon as we finish this, I. I start to work on Nicholas Nickleby. We've tried to stay very faithful to the classic Charles Dickens story. The, the, really, the only difference is uh, there's lots of frogs and pigs and chickens and rats playing the main parts. I think Charles would have liked it that way. It's all the ways that we show love that feel like Christmas. 